Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Multiverse Core plugin. Now this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to easily import and create new worlds for your server so you can have different types of gameplay in each of them of course. So you can have a survival world, a factions, a creative world, etc. So recently I did a plugin on Multi-World Money which uh, used this plugin in order to have multiple worlds and different economies in each. But today we are just looking at Multiverse Core, how to import, create and do all the basic commands with this plugin. So the first thing to do if you were to, for example, download a world off of Planet Minecraft or something is you could import it. So the way you do that is MV import followed by the world name. So let's say there's one called test and then the type of world it is. So do you want it to be normal or nether, something like that. So obviously um, I don't have a world called test, so it's not going to work, but that is how you could use it. Now if you want to create a world from scratch, what you can do is forward slash mv create followed by the name, so I'm going to call it server miner. Now this world could either be normal, end or nether, so I'm actually going to create a nether world and that's going to start the creation of it. Now it could take anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute for this to happen um, and as you can see it's lagging a tiny bit and there we go it says complete in chat. Now what we need to do to get there is the mvtp command so mvtp followed by the world name server miner it will say loading terrain and here we go, we are loading into it for the first time. You can see it is indeed a netherworld. Now, if you wanted to have a particular um, generator, so you have another plugin. Recently, we did a really cool terrain generator plugin. You would have hyphen G at the end and then uh, whatever the terrain generator is called. Um, and that would make a brand new world with a really awesome generator if you had that additional plugin. So once you're in a new world, what you can do is change the spawn location if you want. So you can do MV set spawn uh, and then hit enter. And that's going to set the world spawn to those coordinates. And then if you do MV spawn, it's going to teleport you exactly where you set it. So one cool thing you can do is you can change the properties of a world. So if you don't want mobs in it, one thing you could do is MV modify and then you want to set monsters to false. And if we hit enter, they are all going to disappear. There was a gas, there was some pigment down there, and they are completely gone. And obviously you can change your mind and set that back to true, and then they are going to spawn. Now, if you do not like animals, you can do the MV purge command, and then the world name, so server miner. And then we are going to purge all the animals. And it says 16, Entities purged from the world server miner along with zero projectiles that belong to them. So we could do MV delete and then server miner. And then obviously you have to MV confirm it just to make sure you didn't accidentally do that within 10 seconds and that will delete the world. So now we can no longer teleport to it. So here we are on the Spigot page and you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.17. Um, as I mentioned, Multiverse Portals is uh, an additional plugin you can have with it, and if you want more information, you can go to the wiki. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminder.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.